if you would like to punch in a recording, say start recording in the middle of something you've already recorded, not record over what's before it, but record what's after it, here's how you do that, how you punch in a recording. First, determine where you want to punch in on your recording. So let's say maybe it's at the beginning. Maybe uh, you may first push play to listen to see where the timeline falls, or where it stops, um, to determine where you want to start recording. So clicking play. Okay. Okay, maybe it was at the end of that short phrase, and it, it was kind of around here. So click kind of around there. All right, now we're going to zoom in to that location that we've clicked at. Zooming in, zooming in. Okay, we're kind of there. So you can kind of see the waveforms for each of those sounds. There's a long note at the end of that phrase, and here's a long waveform. That's the long note. Uh, assuming you want to record after that long note, kind of click, be sure that it's after that note. Now that we're zoomed in, there we go. Okay, so that's where we're going to start recording from, because that's where we've clicked. To do so, locate the transport, and we're going to activate the pre-roll uh, function. Pre-roll is what we use for punching in recordings. Okay, I've activated it, I clicked it, changed color. Um, now then determine how far back do you want to hear it before it starts recording. Um, you could uh, look at where the number counter is right now. Currently the number counter is on about 14.933 seconds. Um, so that's the blinking line. That's where we're currently at. Um, if you want to hear back from maybe 10 seconds before that, um, you can kind of see here how far in the timeline by seconds it measures. So let's say we're going to go back 10 seconds. Okay. Um, go back to the transport and look that it currently says 8 seconds. Let me click that. It says 08. I've highlighted 08. We're going to change 08 to 10. So you go to your keyboard and you type in your 10, 1, 0, and then enter. And now it says 10. So Okay, it's gonna it's gonna start playback ten seconds before that moment, before start recording. Let's try it. So record arm. So record arm your track. Record arm your transport. And let's start recording. Space bar. There's that ten seconds before mark. It's not recording yet. Check, 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 check. See that it's now recording, showing the pink record color. Uh, let's click stop for stop recording. Okay, it stopped recording. Um, you can listen to the playback, see that it's successfully recorded or not. Okay, so that is successfully recorded. That is how you punch in a recording on Pro Tools.